All right, it may have been a little stressful for best-selling author Tony Robbins to do the weather for us a few minutes ago, but that's nothing compared to the stress you might be feeling during the holidays. Tony's here with some great advice, as always. Tony, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for having me. I think you passed the test. You don't have the job. We'll call you, we'll call you in a pinch. Forty years with Roker, I think you should stick with him. I think he's the guy. I think he's still our guy. You know, it is a time of joy. We think of the carols and family and yeah. everything else, but for a lot of people, it's not about going to a mall on a Friday night and bashing through the door and getting whatever you can. This is a very difficult time, especially now for so many people. How do you begin to get through it if you're on that side of the holidays? Well, I think the first thing is to realize is today it's more than just holiday stress. Now it's Katrina. When you lose your home, it's a lot more than just, you know, blues that people are experiencing or people that are coming back from dealing with the economy still don't have a job or individuals coming back from the war. So one of the things I've been focused on is for years people studied, you know, post-traumatic stress and what it does to people. But in the last five to ten years, there's been a great deal of scientific research on post-traumatic growth, that literally the same stimulus that makes somebody be destroyed, other people use to grow like they've never grown before. And I'm fascinated to see what those differences are. And whether somebody loses an arm or their job, the first thing that separates them from other people is there's a part inside of them where they make a decision and they say, I will not let this defeat me. They may use different language than that, but there's something inside where they draw the line. If they do that, three things happen. Someone who makes it through this post-traumatic situation, they grow. First, they really discover who they are, what their strengths are, what their ability is. People are stronger than they realize they are. Second, they find out who their real friends are, not their Facebook friends, yeah. but the people when things are going tough who are really there for you. And it deepens all those relationships. And then thirdly, it kind of gives you an antibody against other forms of stress. So actually, you've got to learn to use stress instead of stress using you. That's how life changes. One of the things you talk about a lot is getting a ritual. How yes. do you explain that to people watching? What does it mean? But it just means that our habits control us, right? And we all have rituals whether we know it or not. One of the most important rituals is to get real with yourself. You know, we have this delusion in our society that if we get everything the way we want it, we'll be happy. In 2006, we had the highest levels of unhappiness in this country at the peak of the economic boom. I'll give you a better example. If I asked you, what's the best thing that ever happened in your life? Give me your 10-second answer. What would your answer be? Birth of my children. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Most people will say the number one answer, win the lottery. Right? $200 million lottery, I'm set. What's the worst thing can happen when you ask the most Americans? The number one thing is to have someone else have to take care of you because you become a quadriplegic. But here's the question. Pretty stressful situation. Which one of these two people, the person who wins the lottery or the person who becomes a quadriplegic, three years later is happier? I think you're going to quadriplegic. I set you up. No. Neither. After three years, people adjust to whatever happiness they had before, unless they develop something to make themselves grow. Mm -hmm. And the three rituals I tell people at the most basic level you can do right now is a ritual of focus. What you focus on is what you feel. So most people focus on what they can't control right now. They focus on what they don't have. You lost electricity, but you didn't lose your home. Focusing on what you have and being grateful is number one, because it puts you in a different state and you can help people. Second is focusing on action. What are you going to do so that you have enough physical energy to deal with the challenges you're going to face? Right now, exercise has been proven three times a week of 20 minutes has an anti-depression effect on your body. It's better than most antidepressants according to many studies. Thirdly, it's really the ritual of giving. When you are in the worst place, all the research shows, if you did five acts of kindness in a week, it affects you for three weeks of your life. Just doing something simple, and that's really why I'm here. You talk about giving, you're doing this basket brigade for the holidays. Talk about that a little bit. Well, when I was 11 years old, uh, we were very poor. We had no money on Thanksgiving, and somebody came by and delivered food to my family, and it completely changed my life. And I, it made me believe strangers care. So I decided I was going to do this by the time I turned 17. I fed two families, then four. Now this year we'll feed two million people. Wow. But we're on track for three million because uh, because of what's happened here with the hurricane. I'm dedicating my foundation is doing half a million meals, and I'm doing half a million in the tri-state area this week. So people would like to help out. You don't have to have a lot of money. You can build a basket of food. You can join a group of people that's already doing it, or you can donate. And all you need to do is go to TonyRobbins.com or the Anthony Robbins Foundation and do it. And if they do, we'll also send them a download of an audio of rituals that will strengthen you not only during the holidays, but for 2013 and beyond. Good advice and good work by you, Tony Robbins. Thanks Thank you so, so much. much. With the man you. with the biggest handshake in the business. <laughs> Just swallows your hand. I wish you could be here to see it. Tony, thanks so much. Thank Happy you, holidays. Thank you.